this blocking it's something I don't do very often a lot of people don't do it very often but I'm going to need to get into the habit of doing it because of hardcore which overall will make me a better player at least I think it will in theory theoretically that's right I said it in a very strange manner in a very extended way and I'm running through a forest in a way where I will never see anything what I should have done was chilled out up on top of that hill and looked for any sources of light everywhere around me. Uh, however, the distance that I could see probably would not have allowed me to see much more beyond the, the mountains themselves. But I've got one rule that's always a good start. No idea where the Victory Monument is. I'm not entirely sure how one goes about finding things. Cause I don't know if anything is marked. The only thing I know is there were signs on the shore and what appeared to be a broken ship. So apparently we we're all of a sudden shipwrecked. Shipwrecked and looking for wool. Lost cargo perhaps? I do not know. But who knows? It doesn't really have any kind of story so far. I'm going to guess there are going to be some pre-made buildings. Could be. It'd be kind of lame to just kind of build terrain and say, here you go, find everything. So, I don't know, there may be some story on certain buildings and stuff. We might have to make our own story. Me not being the very creative type, that sounds like a very, very, very bad idea. But uh, we're going to head out in this direction right after I slaughter every cow in my sight. The sword's already half down from killing cows, and I have way more steak than I could probably ever eat. One thing I am looking forward to is hopefully I'll tr go like walking into a jungle biome and I'll find some cats, which I will need some raw fish, but I've seen enough pools of water and stuff that I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I could always dig any of these pools of water deeper just so I could fish in them. Yeah, I'm still in, still killing cows, even though I have a ton of food already. But you never know when I might need to make backup armor, which... Which, this is a desert. This is definitely a desert. I can't even see those mountains anymore, so I am way out. I'm probably way beyond where I should be already. The sword's at half, the sword's... Well, one sword's at half, the other one's below half. We'll combine them together. We will keep going. My inventory's getting kind of clogged up a bit. Hmm. I do feel like this map needs something. Because, as it currently stands, in relation to the other maps, it is a little bit boring. It's kind of like... It reminds me of Far Lands or Bust that Kurt J. Mack is doing. You know, you're just kind of walking and walking and walking and just walking. And just uh, a lot of walking. I know I didn't explore very well, but I don't know. Maybe my current goal is to see if I can hit the edge of the map. Which, I don't know if this is supposed to be the edge of the map or if this is supposed to be... An ocean biome that I'm supposed to boat across. But the very smooth taper here leads me to believe that it is going to just end. So we're going to go this way. Right after I prepare to sleep. I know sleeping through all the nights isn't very interesting, but I want to find... I want to find something. It's supposed to be a super hostile map. I want to find something hostile. And I, I don't mean just staying awake at night and fighting everything that comes after me. That's not really hostile, especially out in a desert. It's very easy to control your, you know, control all your angles when you're looking around and whatnot. You can, speaking of structures, I see structure over there. Hmm. That makes me wonder. I wonder if it makes me any underwater structures. And the map is still loading slowly out there which leads me to believe that uh, the issues with loading and fraps 
It might just be because I'm using an older version of Fraps. I just haven't upgraded. Uh, actually, I don't even know if it's older. I haven't even been keeping up on it, to be honest. I installed it. It worked. I left it alone. And Cheaty Sand. Ooh, what's going on over here? I believe this is surface lava. But that looks like a dungeon. I'm hoping the dungeons have numbers, because that'll give me an idea of what's going on. Yep, surface lava. Numbered dungeons? I would love it. It would be nice. Help me keep track of what's going on. Random patch of grass. This one appears to be some kind of a desert fortress that's been overrun by sand. I am not going to look for the front door. I'm just going to go trudging right up the side of this. Here we go. I see a chest straight off. Goes down into nowhere land. I'm going to use some dirt. I don't want to replace that. I'll replace the bed. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, I'm having slight jumping problems. Uh, we have Bottle of Enchanting. Wood, I will take the wood. Leather, might as well take it. Uh, wooden shovels, not interested. Cook pork chop, stay there. Ooh. Looks like it's been hit some by like a meteor or something. Ooh, another chest. Uh, more bottles of enchanting. Ladders. Ladder is always good. Uh, chain leggings. We will take those. We will put those on. We will throw my leather leggings away. Okay. Hopefully this creates not quite the small bridge I was after. Realize this is hardcore and I'm diving into this little area down here. I feel like I should explore the outside a bit more, to be honest. I want to see if there's at least a name to this fortress, or even a real entrance, to be honest. It feels... I, I don't know. Very odd. No? I don't see a real entrance. I don't see a name. I don't see nothing. Nothing! And I may or may not add ridiculous accents at times. Ooh. Skeletons. How am I going to deal with the skeletons? Oh, I see another light opening area over there. I do not need the coal bad enough to go down there. So I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to go check out the spot where light was shining through. I think it was right here. Yeah. Right here. Ooh, do you see what I see? Because I see it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, suck it, zombie. That was an interesting little cascade. Hey, spider. I don't know if there's spawners down here, if there's just mobs down here because it was dark, but I will find out. I notice my food bar is getting a little empty. I really, really want this iron. I was concerned about whether or not there was a hole underneath. My inventory appears to be full. Snowballs! Full of snowballs. I realized I haven't used the bottle of enchanting be honest, there's no point using them at the moment. I guess I could do it to clear up an inventory slot. I'm not going to be able to sleep anytime soon, not with all these monsters nearby. But I just recently slept, so there shouldn't be a big issue with that. My biggest issue right now, my sword breaking. I'm not going to lie, that is my biggest concern as of this very second. However, I made a lot of swords. I should probably have at least two on my bar at all times. Should have also blocked there. Here, another skeleton. Skeleton? Spider. They both start with F. It's the same thing, right? 
hopefully I can get 24 iron, because if I can get an iron, a suit of iron going, where'd you go, zombie? Okay. If I can get a suit of iron going and a full set of iron tools, I will be one happy person. Hmm. Oh. Crap. Come on, skeleton. Come up here where I can fight you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. How'd you like that block? Good timing on that, I would say. I'm kind of worried that with all this iron, bad things are going to happen in the near future. Oh, that is not one of the bad things that I meant to happen. Yes, I'm aware he's still shooting at me. And I'm aware I was a little late on trying to block that. But I was trying to see if I could charge him in time. The, you can consider this kind of like a the Minecraft quick start challenge, but not quite the same. This is designed to be a lot more insane. Ooh. The mobs, they're spawning like madmen. Thank you, Skellington. Do me a favor and shoot this zombie, would you? No? I'm getting low. I'm getting low. Light this up. I'll produce spawns back here a little bit. Not a little bit. I want to reduce them a lot a bit. I want to make things a lot safer than they are. So, yeah. I don't know if there's anything down here. I would assume there's something. I suppose there's the iron. I'm going to have to make an iron block as quickly as possible. Just so I don't forget it later. Uh, and then I can always break it down if I ever become in desperate need of iron, but I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Oh. Ow. I need to get these guys somewhere, preferably separated, where I can fight them. If I get really lucky, I can get one of them to drop an enchanted bow. Oh, you shot me, you bastard. I am probably going to want to try and get a hold of a wolf. Because that'll just make my life considerably more safer. Ooh. He'll at least act as a little meat shield, and then if I can find more pork, I'll be able to keep feeding him. That's one thing that cats don't have, is the ability to feed them should they get hurt. And I don't even know if they have any kind of uh, really damage indicator I did collect all of that coal so I've got that going for me there's a lot of creepers down here if there's not a like some kind of a creeper spawner or something this just has to be the damnedest of luck oh I am gonna need this iron armor as quick as possible because without it these skeletons are just Brutal. Definitely kind of interesting so far. That uh, creeper appears to be a little bit stuck. And I have apparently gone full circle. So I'm going to take a quick look around, make sure there's no iron that I missed back here. I know there's more to explore down that one direction. That spider spawned like a cheap bastard. Check out my armor. Armor's doing okay at the moment. Hey, you guys, where are you going? This cave is very expansive. What am I at? 28. Brought this furnace with me, so that's always good. Drop this down. Take a quick look, make sure that nothing's coming after me. It's more coal than I need in there. Uh, doo 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 doo. Stupid rotten flesh. 
I almost want to make a flint and steel just so I can burn things that I don't want. Oh. See you, Mr. Sneaky. Thought I heard you walking. I should be putting this to my actual headset, not my surround sound, so that way I can actually hear things clearly and hear which direction they're coming from. Oh. That guy kind of startled me. I heard a spider noise. I turned around and he was in my face. Suppose I will use the bottle of enchanting just to get it out of my inventory. Uh, put this wool somewhere I can keep track of it. Bed. Cobble. I'm going to make a bit of a garbage pit. Throw things I don't want. Spider eyes, do not want. Gunpowder. Sand. Snowballs. Eggs. Saplings. String. I should make a bow. I suppose I will make a bow while I'm sitting here being an idiot. Uh, bow. Oop. You don't make a bow using wool. Okay, bow made. Actually, I should keep that down. I'm just going to do... I'm going to not... I'm probably not really going to need this uh, leather... Hey! Okay. I'm probably not really going to need this leather all that much. I'm just going to throw what's left of this leather armor straight down in my garbage pit that I just made. I'm going to make these pieces as they come through. I'm probably going to explore a little bit more before it's done cooking. Just because I don't want to leave you guys with just me doing this. Oh. Oh. I knew that was going to happen. Now I'm going to empty out everything again. Because I am bad. Alright. Let's go have a look-see down here. See what we can see. Kill this creeper because he appears to be stuck. That was like the most well-timed block ever. Ninja me some uh, iron. Might as well just throw it in here. Like I said, though, I am going to want to make that iron block as well, but as it currently stands, the armor is way more important to me. Go down there. Kind of sitting good here. Um, my mouth is starting to get a little dry from all the continuous talking I've been doing. It appears to be night out. Oh, and that is one pissed off Enderman. Do not hit me. Oh, shit. Okay, be very careful. Endermen are very deadly on hardcore. But you go, Enderman. I didn't mean to look at him, but it happened. And so it happened. 